Um, so I'm going to show you how to use this new app, um, the advanced, uh, what you have in your apps, and you have this new advanced product description. So you'll click on that guy. We're going to go ahead and use uh, Basil, this one here, as our example. So if you see the product pages now, they're actually showing this stuff. This is my code from before, okay? And then this below down here is the new uh, code for the tab. So it by default will start showing um, the descriptions on these pages because of the way we have it. And then once you're done and everything done, I can I can actually remove and hide this. And so I'll I'll go ahead and, and fix this so that if you have um, uh, the the tabs not done, it won't show this yet. But if you start adding information, it will start showing them down here. Um, so I'll fix that for you. But anyway, I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to use uh, Basil Tol Tulsi Holly, right? So what I go do is um, there's a couple things. One is this right here is going to be the short description. Um, if you want this to show, you still have to do it the old way where you scroll to the bottom here and then you use short description and put in your HTML. I'm sorry, but that app doesn't allow us to, to edit that, right? So you'll be editing one field for the short description for the top right-hand side here, okay? And it's pretty simple, um, not too, too crazy on, on that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some new tabs. We're going to add these tabs here, benefits, directions, test report articles, and recipes, right? So we're going to add them, and they're going to show up down here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, this uh, app, blah, 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 app, and it has its own little video, and you can watch that, and we can select that and never show again once you're done watching it. The app is enabled. It's using fonts from the system. Um, if you look at this, um, don't select accordion because if you select accordion, what will happen is the uh, the tabs will turn into accordions, and that's bad for SEO. So we want to stick with the switcher, okay? And I have it selected as tabs, and then I have the tab border color. You can change that whatever color you want. You can mess around with that, and this is global, okay? Uh, tabs, inactive color, etc. So that's for the color that's actually going to be on the tabs that are showing. And I have it on one of the other products uh, for Bergamot. So let me see if I got that one. Yeah, so here's one Bergamot. So this is one that I did before. So I'll show you this. And if you notice, here's my tabs, and then here's the new ones. See? So they're all a little, they're a little different. Okay? I made it so the headers are going to be uh, green up here, recipes we love. And I'll show you how this works. So let me go ahead and close that one. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click on, you have products. And so you can go and find um, one of your products in here and start using it. Um, if you look at this right here, it says descriptions. This will actually give you the products that we've already worked on. So if you want to see all the ones that have the descriptions that are set up with tabs, you click on descriptions and it'll take you to, to Bergamot. So the next one's going to be the, uh, the new product working on. So we go to products and I'm going to do this one. So I just grab this, go here. Let's go to search. It's going to give me my product. And now if you look at this, it has these sections, right? Untitled. And they're over here. Untitled section, untitled section. So what we want to do is we can copy stuff from other products in here, but you don't want to do that because you don't want a global, right? So you want to have this being called description, right? And then we, the next one we're going to have is going to be benefit. Whoops. And we got to make sure that this product has all those items, right? So benefits is the next one. So benefits is the next section. Benefits. I'll go back. Next one is directions. Oops, sorry. So I'll go down. And notice I have two, so I need to add another section. So add new section. And so that's directions. So one, two, three. So I need to add four more. So that was one, two, three, four. So I just clicked that four times, and it gives me additional sections on the right-hand side that I could name. So if you only put in two sections, like description and benefits, those will be the only two that will show, right? So now I'm going to do the next one down, which is going to be uh, directions. And then the next one down 
will be test report. And notice I'm making them capital. It just makes your life a lot easier so you don't have to worry about doing any kind of CSS. Uh, articles and recipes. So we got articles. And then we'll go down one more. And the last one is recipes. Okay. So now I'll save this. I don't have anything in here yet. So if you look at this, it says um, disable advanced description. Um, you can look at their video and see how it affects it. I'll go ahead and put some stuff in here and then we'll tick that on and tick it off and see how it looks, okay? So we select save, okay? So now the description, I'm just gonna grab the description for the product. And so I'll just go into this guy. Or you can go on the front if you want. So if you want to go on the front end and make it easier, and you can just grab the code, just grab it just like this, and then go back over to description and paste. Now you don't have any color options in here, and there's no source, so we can't like change color inside of here. So the, the color is controlled um, globally, as I showed you in the settings already. Okay, so these will be kind of like blue, and then if I make any of these header tags, they're going to be green, right? So benefits, the next one over. I'll click on benefits and I'll just grab this whole thing. Go back over here and paste. And now notice that the, the green didn't paste in there. So I need to make this a header tag. So that's going to be H3. It's probably a nice, oops. Let's actually hit enter. And then let's grab that and hit H3. So you're going to kind of tweak it a little bit, all right? So you're going to, you know, it's going to take a little time to do this. So directions. But then once you do this, it'll be easier for you to update in the future. You just copy that whole thing. Go back over here. Directions, you just paste it in there. Test report, same thing. Test report, highlight, paste. Articles, click articles, highlight that. And if it was a bunch of stuff, you'll see in a second. Paste, and then recipes. So we'll grab recipes, you just grab this whole thing, copy, and you can right click and select copy, but I'm, I'm doing a quick keys, is control C or, or Apple, and then I'll scroll down some more and I'll paste in here. So now I've got all my info in here, and I'm probably gonna mess around with the spacing some more. I'll select save, and then let's see how this product looks. So you can actually go straight to view product from here. I always keep it open in a separate tab, but let's just go ahead and click on view product. And so now, we still have our short description from the original code that I did. If you scroll down here, here's the original um, code that I did, right? But if you notice, now all the tabs are here from that, um, that new app. And so all this stuff works. So if you go ahead and click on pomegranate essential oil, you can test report, and you can test it, click on it, and it's gonna go to your test report. Scroll down, benefits, right? Sorry, benefits here. And notice how it's green, because I made the H3, the H1, 2, and 3. So you want to use H3 so you have that smaller one. If I wanted H2, it'd be bigger. And then you can mess around with the rest of these as well. So there's a little spacing, like focusing the mind. So on benefits, I you know go into the product, go down to benefits, and then I put my cursor there, I'll put a little tab, and hit enter. So you can go in and format these however you want in this way. Okay, and that's it. So let's see what it does if I disable advanced description. Let me turn that on, select save. I think it sets it back to the original page. Let me double check. So view, let me see. Okay, so it turns it turns off all the tabs and it just shows the description there. So that's a little weird. Anyway, so let's leave that. Okay, so you're just gonna leave the default and select save. So now this product is underneath descriptions. So if I go to descriptions, I'll see both of my products that I worked on. So if I go back over here, refresh, because I turned off that ticker and I saved it. So now I'll have this, right? So I'm gonna have to figure out how to, I gotta put some code in here to try to remove, to remove this if this thing's enabled, right? So that you're not doing twice the work. But you're gonna need these, I think. You're gonna need these in order to copy over the data. I'll leave them on there for now. If you want me to like to get them off of there, I will um, take them off. Okay. But 
I'll leave them on there until you until you um, update them. All right. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And again, you can control the way these look, the rollovers and stuff, right here.